To get your message out to over 2 million homes, call Positive Promotions at 302-292-3994 or log on to our website at posprotv.com. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome back here. Uh, we're going to get keep the show rolling. we got a lot of things to do. This is Delaware Museum of Natural History here with me. I've got Teresa and Paula. We're going to start off with Teresa because we got always something happening in Delaware Natural History Museum. When I say that, we go. We usually go to you guys. You guys don't come to us because you can't usually bring things because it's all display. But you got something happening. What's happening? Right. Today we brought down a couple of items. We have a nature's design craft show coming up on the 19th and 20th. So next weekend we're going to have different crafters from the region um, demonstrating different artifacts that are inspired by nature or use an element of nature in some way. And Paul is in charge of the, he's setting it up. It's our first ever craft show. So it's different, kind of different for you guys as far as, because usually it's uh, live critters. Well, you got some of those too we're talking about. <laughs> but when it comes, because we usually go down there too, you, you have this great facility they redid here a couple of years ago. I mean, it's right. just spectacular what they've done to the, the, the museum there. And you've got your everyday stuff that you can go there and see, but every month, every month and a half, you guys are changing out that one room there. And this is going to be the craft show month, I guess. Yes. Yeah. In place of our last changing exhibit just came down and in place in the um, traveling exhibit area we're going to have the craft show. Yeah, now we've got a lot of different artists coming in. We or? have um, 18 different crafters. Um, they all, or it's a juried show, and as Teresa said, they either have the theme of nature or something natural in their work. So it's very specific. Yeah, because I was looking at some, some of this. I mean, it just it doesn't take you long to figure out the nature part of some of it. But <laughs> right. then you got this this piece of pottery sitting out here, and then kind of throws things off. What is that? Well, that's actually it's actually wood. It looks like pottery, but it's so fine. Um, that's a wood turner, James um, Sturgis. Sturgis, and he's from Landenburg, and he does he's a wood turner, and he makes bowls and tables, and he does beautiful work. I'm telling you, that is just spectacular. I was sitting there looking at that. That's nice, but. Uh, you have something that's crawling all over you that's, that's driving me nuts. I mean, what, what, what's the purpose of this? Do we have this going, something going on with this? Or? Well, as we said, the craft show is going to be in the changing exhibit area. A week after the craft show, we open a new exhibit um, that will take the place of where the crafts are. We will be opening Dr. Entomo's Palace of Exotic Wonders. And this is an example of one of its live bugs, one of the live bugs that people will be seeing at, in that exhibit. Now, when you say that, because a lot of the things you have down there are, are interactive with the kids and stuff. Are the kids going to be able to come in there and actually touch some of these and play with them? Or how's that, you know? You won't be able to necessarily touch the um, bugs in the exhibit. We will have our own bugs um, uh, during some of the Saturdays for ex um, the visitors to touch, but they're going to see unique and unusual bugs. Because this is unique and unusual <laughs> here. Uh, what, 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 we, what, what is this guy here that we're looking at? This is a giant African millipede. Um, they can live to be seven to ten years old, and they can get as long as ten inches. This guy looks like he's almost a foot long. Uh, he has, even though he's a millipede, he only has a hundred to four hundred legs, um, and. They're very, they don't bite. The one thing that if they're scared, they give a secretion out through each of these little sections. To us, it's harmless. Right, but <laughs> to other places, it's very poisonous or a drug. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but when you're talking about that, now, now eating wise, you were talking earlier mm -hmm. that they eat uh, like just. Decomposing fruit and vegetables. So there is a purpose for them out there. Yes, no, yes. Because uh, that's they what are. we always try to yes. figure out what, what in the world is something like that for. But, uh, who would eat that now? Well, um, we were mentioning earlier, lemurs like to eat uh, giant African millipedes because they get, um, it's a hallucinogen. The mm. liquid between the sections becomes an hallucinogen for them, and they have a good time. Yeah. So they try to find them. <laughs> it's um, like having a couple of drinks. So have a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> but this will be just one of the strange and exotic um, bugs that they'll see in the exhibit. We have, we'll have centipedes. Right. And... <laughs> Tarantulas? It's going to be a centipede that has, we call it the devil with two heads because its tail looks just like its head to confu confuse predators. We're also going to have um, scorpions that glow in the dark under UV light, which will be something really unusual that people haven't seen before. Um, and besides just seeing the animals, you're going to be able to smell one of them. We've got a um, giant vinegaroon 
where you can, um, they, it emits a special scent to, sc again, scare off uh, predators, and that's something you're going to be able to experience at the exhibit. The nose is not the skunk thing. I've had to experience <laughs> that naturally, walking the dog one night, and I don't want to do that anymore. But, you know, it, it, as far as the Natural History Museum, I mean, what a great, great place that is. I, the, the giant squid, when you walk through the door, uh, gets it all started. And you guys got everything that's they can never do in Delaware or in its region, I should say, under display there. I That's mean, true. So. We have the only um, permanent dinosaur exhibit in the state of Delaware. We have a huge collection of shells and birds, um, many of which are on display as well. And um, we also have a lot of educational programs and special events like these going on throughout the year. So we're, there's always something new and different for families to see. Like I said, we usually go down to you guys so we can showcase all this. But today, of course, you're doing here. Now, we want to remind everybody this event's going to be taking place when? The, the show itself? The Nature Designs Craft Show is May 19th and 20th. And actually, on the 19th is Free to the First State Day. So any Delaware resident can come to the museum for free on that day. And our hours are at 9.30 to 4.30 on Saturday. And on Sunday, they're noon to 4.30. So your opportunity to go visit for free this, uh, you know, on those days. So definitely check it out. Right. I want to thank both of you for coming down and, and seeing us today. And I want to remind you once again, Delaware Na Museum of Natural History is located on Route 52. Right. Out there, very easy to get to. Any questions, you got a website? Yes, it's D-E-L-M-N-H.org. There you go. Big hand for the girls. We'll be right back right after this. Stay with us. Tim Crawl Show and other positive promotion productions, then log on to our website at www.pazprotv.com. <laughs>